Ha! Yeah, there we are. There you are. I'm here. <laughs> Vicky's here. Everybody else will be as soon as I find where to make this public. I think they do. <laughs> There's Mary. We have Elizabeth and Sandra already Hi, ready guys. to go. Mary, Sandra, Elizabeth, how are you doing? All right, now to get uh, Instagram oh, ready to go. Popped on. Jilly. Jilly. And Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Oh, I'm going to put this over there. We're going to fire up the gram and we're going to get started. We got a table full of color today. I'm kind of kind of impressed. <laughs> also, she dared me to wear this. So, you know, the whole I, time. The whole time. I have no pride nor shame and, and no problem doing that. <laughs> This is what we're doing today. Uh, what patches, Elizabeth? She's curious about the patches. Oh, what you're wearing, I guess. Oh, these? Hey, Gina. Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> so the fun thing, actually, and I think, yes, Lisa was on. Um, one of the things we're going to talk about tonight, and we may have to talk about it again. Um, you are wearing what Lisa made, the little prayer elemental things. Prayer flag. Uh, Go live, checking connection, getting the gram ready. Gram is ready. Gram is ready. All right. Yeah, it actually did work last week. Yeah, it was the week before that Instagram did not like to play with us. So the gram, the gram is off. ready. We're both cut off on the gram. Right. How's that? Better? Hello, Instagram. <laughs> All right. All my beautiful people on the book of faces. The book of faces. <laughs> It still makes me think of uh, something from. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my beautiful feedback. Turn that off. And there we go. Now I can switch back and forth between the screens to try and keep up with all the comments. Make me nauseous over here. All right. Isabel. Hey, everybody from Instagram. Hillary. Coming quick. All right. So for. Kim I'm not even going to try that. Kim <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tonight, our okay. theme is what? Spring. Spring. Yes. We're springing forward. Um, yeah, Janet. First time Janet's catching us. Hey, Janelle. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janelle. Our drink for tonight. What is this? Blackberry Bramble? Blackberry Brambles. Yeah. I, I drank most of mine. I'm, kind <laughs> of, I'm ahead. I'm, I'm lagging behind. Winning. Mm -hmm. All right. Spring. Hey, Shaman Dre. It's going to be May, Mother's Day. we got some stuff going on. Where do you want to start? Um, hi, Mariah. Okay, so spring. Why don't we wear or start with the lovely prayer, the lovely prayer banner flags. that you are wearing. I like <laughs> It's them. a dare Instagram to make sure she wears it the whole time. A feather, <laughs> and some fire, and a shell. A shell. Yeah, and I was gonna call it a pine cone. Here's a, an oak leaf. Different oh. seasons, different elements. Um, Lisa Malloy, one of our local artists, okay. makes these for us. They're only six dollars, guys, and it hangs. It's actually tied around uh, Nikki's neck. neck. Yeah, but they're only six bucks um, to help honor the different seasons, the different elements. You can hang this above your altar, your sacred space. You could um, anoint the fabric with different oils. Um, Put them across your porch. Yeah. Cross your doorways. Helps a lo support local handmade. Six bucks. Yes. Really cheap to, to ship Very out. Very cute. I'm digging them. Um, if you, uh, yep, Lisa's over on Instagram, or I'm sorry, Facebook. I have too many screens. Um, if there's anything <laughs> that you guys are interested in, just uh, send us a message, uh, be it in the comments or a direct message um, with how to get a hold of you, and we'll get you a pile started. We have but, the uh, lovely Ms. T here today. We'll she, get her on camera at some point today. She can show you the candles she made. Right. And um, and she will be collecting your orders together for you. Yes. And Oh, Janelle loved her candles that she got from you last week. Oh, thanks, Janelle. I'm glad. Yeah. It's still so, $6. Okay. 
that you're wearing. I'm wearing it. <laughs> Nikki will not come modeling your house. I know what it looks like. like right. It's like <laughs> looks this. like this. <laughs> Vanna Whiting. All right. <laughs> What's next? What's next? <laughs> All right. Oh, here. I thought this was very springy. We have um, the Joyful Inspirations card deck featuring the dreamy artwork of Judy Mastrangelo. Mastrangelo? It's a mouthful. Mastrangelo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just work here. I don't even work here now that I think about it. No, uh, you get no workers comp. This invites you to join a caravan of flower fairies, dancing unicorns, friendly bunnies, and a host of other joyful creatures who delight in spreading sunshine and rainbows. This is more of an Oracle card deck. Um, I'm hoping you can see that. Mm -hmm. Zoom. And it is just very, very cute, very positive, very um kid friendly very very springy very it's very positive it is very very, positive. very spring refreshing renew rebirth um more of your light-hearted oracle deck for spring for spring mm -hmm. all right and that that lovely little beauty is 21.95 if you'd like one of those send us a, a message drop something in the comments and Oh, uh, that's a little too perky for me. So we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got? <laughs> we have one of my favorite figures um, is Green Man. Oh, my favorite. Um, we have this print here. Um, I actually have like three of these. Um, who would you say? That's probably like a 14 by 12 size. Yes. Um, Steve Posh. Uh, Pagan artist, I believe he lives in Wisconsin, came by, um, picked out some of his artwork. So we have, is everybody seeing it? Ha ha, there, there we are. go. Um, it's 30. Um, yeah, Paul Ruckert art. And it comes with the description back here. Some of these will actually be signed by him. Um, but original art, art print from Paul Ruckert. Um, if you go to any of the like pagan markets and outdoor festivals, you may have ran into him. Um, and then we also have little Green Man plasks. We love him. Now, Green Man, if you're not familiar with him, um, like that thriving force, that driving male energy, spring renewal. Um, I, I personally, when I'm doing like money magic or um, things I want to bring forth, I Hi, resonate Michelle. better with uh, Green Man um, as my driving energy. Uh, but he can I also do. Yeah, I like him. It's like a um, natural grounding or the, the, the print the was uh, 30 and the, the, and the green man is 20. The plaque is 20. The print is 30. Thank you for the little hearts floating up there. Appreciate it. Uh, the, uh, the moon phase art actually sold. Um, so he's asking on um, Facebook. Um, but um, while Nikki's talking about one of the next pieces, I'll go check some art prints. We some more art behind us today. We switched it up because we realized we were just being lazy. Yes. So we, we changed it. We do have uh, this crescent moon like reef. That's pretty cool. That Kayla from New York, she's one of our readers um, and healers. She comes in out of town, out of the Buffalo area. She actually made this and blessed it. This is only 50. You can see how big that is. It's pretty big. Um, has Amazonite crystals that are strong through that. So um, so quickly, that's, that's a piece of moon art kind of hanging behind us. But I can go dig through some prints real quick while Nikki's talking about a next item and see if we have any more moon phases somewhere. All right. Hi, Nadine. Yeah, come on. Let's get tea over here. She's going to talk <laughs> about her candles. Okay. She's our newest recruit. And she has made this incredibly lovely anxiety candles. Yes. In the cauldron. These mm -hmm. are 20. And what's in them? Lavender, sage, and then... What was the other thing we put in there? That lemon lavender. No, it was lavender sage. And then <laughs> I can't remember the other thing we put in there. Lavender sage, more sage, and there was something that made it smell too... Blood orange. Blood, blood orange. There you go. So this is, it's a very springy smelling candle. It does actually kind of help with relaxation. Mm -hmm. We got a nice rose quartz in there. 
And on the top, we have benzoin and frankincense and then lavender and chamomile. There you go. We and also we have, have some smaller ones, too. We have three of these at 20. And then we have uh, two, two of, of the tins left at 12. So if you're interested in either of those, leave us a message and we'll get your email address and we'll figure out how we're going to get it to you. We are calling this the Anxiety Buster. I have been burning it next to myself for the last three days because I am anxious like there is no tomorrow, let me tell you. So, um, and these cauldrons came out much better than the last set. So they're, they're very cute, very reusable. You can use them as smudge pots or to burn resin or incense or keep your change in or um, as long as it's coated all the way with the, with the um, glaze on the inside, you can eat off of it. But wash it first. Definitely, definitely wash it first. Um, this is another candle I asked her to make because, again, I got anxiety like it's going out of style. And so this is a grounding candle. Uh, this got a lovely little sandalwood stick sticking out of here. And uh, we've topped this oh, with <sighs> ultra blend resin, myrrh, um, and it is a combination of all the wood scents. So if you like the wood kind of scents, that this is the candle for you. It's uh, it is tonka and it is sandalwood. It is sage, sage, frankincense, and myrrh. Uh, white birch. Mm -hmm. uh, is that's that it? it? I think that's it. Did you say so, the anxiety were three for twenty? No, we have three at twenty. Don't listen to Melissa. No, because Gina. Um, so Elizabeth wants one of the anxiety, and then Gina. Um, Gina will take a cauldron. Which uh, which cauldron would you like, uh, Sandra? She wants a cauldron. And um, this is my favorite candle. So, Ginny, um, each one is 20, not three for 20. Right. The tins are 12 or two for 20. If you want to do two of the tins, you can. Um, so that's that's those. OK. And Lisa is going to take um, an anxiety candle. So we have two available of those. Isabel, you want the woods candles? Oh, yep. Yeah, OK. Yeah, that's 20 also. So Isabel on Instagram wants the woods candle. Yep. OK. So Isabel, if you could message us your email address, we'll get you an invoice set out, and then we will get it either shipped or dropped off to you. Um, Musical oh, Center. I like that name. Mary Crow will take the uh, anxiety. Which one? The small or the large? Um, Mary, did you want the While small? I get that sorted out. Oh, the cauldron. The cauldron. I okay. have another. And then Ginny wants two, two tins. Oracle deck. This is the Oracle of the Fairies, and it is so pretty. Um, fairies are magical beings who are the guardians of the oh, planet. They are the ultimate spiritual environmentalists. They wish for everyone to be in tune in their ancient wisdom. There's 44 cards in this deck, and it's inspiration for your everyday life. So you get very insight from these beautiful, the artwork is incredible. I mean, I really, I wish I could open it for you and show you. It is just, um, the artwork is just really beautiful on these, and, and I'm, I'm not a fae uh, person, but I, I would definitely buy this deck. Very cool. And this one is $19.99, unless you're Canadian. <laughs> and it's more. The other I never figured out why. Um, so that's where we are on that. All right, T's going to tell you about this other candle. We have two candle cups left from last week. That's it, two. Okay. So which one is this? That's the love one. This is a love candle, which you can use for all of your love spells. Don't oh. do it without asking someone's permission first, obviously. Um, I don't remember. What did we put in this? There's some rose quartz on top. 
Um, some, some rose petals. There's rose some petals. jasmine in there. Lavender. Lavender. And I can smell it to tell you what it's. Like. <laughs> oh, um, this is a uh, rose scent with um with red wine and uh lang lang very pretty smells mm -hmm. very very floral very summer springish um it's gorgeous and the rose petals i dried myself yes from flowers i bought for myself so there you go how much is this one those are 12. these are 12. and then there's another one which is the psychic development yes psychic development which i don't think i helped you with these actually okay psychic development has um gum arabic and frankincense on top and there is uh sage frankincense uh, a little grapefruit and something very lovely i'm not <laughs> either those things make something really lovely or there's something else in here but um all by the book verified sources all of these things are supposed to help you with your psychic development or your intuitive powers or to give you a boost in your powers uh, also it should help you with um your uh lucid dreaming that's another big one yep. so that stone on top? also 12 the stone on top is citrine supposed to stimulate your third eye mm -hmm. no that's not citrine no that one might be that's not citrine. that's gum arabic oh then that's um <clears throat> tangerine tangerine <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that's not citrine it said citrine on the pet <clears throat> they lied to you mm, i got lied to we'll put oh. a citrine on it for you how's that if you want this one, I will put a citrine on it. We'll take that out, whatever that may be. <laughs> so we'll make sure you get the good stuff. There's two of those. There's two more cauldrons over there. There's two there. of those. We have two large cauldrons. Oh, here you go. There's one for you. That is also a love candle. Another love candle. Another love candle. People need love. They really do. Even mm -hmm. if it's not... Um, even if it's not, you know, the, the romantic kind of love. Self-love self is a good thing to have, too. Has happy home kind of love. Some quartz on top. Nice quartz right, right in the middle there. Looks like. Yep. And then some lots of roses. Roses. And this one has a lot of Palo Santo in it. Um, it also has um, a Merlot scent to it. Um, and 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 something peaceful what was the other peaceful one it, i really tried to push this as a happy home i know we're all getting on each other's nerves and i'm just trying to to invoke more love and bring tensions down so everybody can just kind of get along because it's been a long time we've been stuck together now so <laughs> so if you're interested in that this is 30. i also have another large cauldron uh, this is one for healing. That is definitely citrine on top of there. There's chamomile, lily, um, lavender, and um, it is scented in frankincense. Uh, there's a little bit of lavender oil. And that's my other big healer. God, I hate when I don't remember these things. So we used to write them down before, you know, coronavirus. Now I've gotten lazy. It's made me very lazy. Me smell it. Um, but it is, that one was intended mm. for healing. It smells really good, guys. It is really nice. It is. Okay. So I think that's it for the candles. Oh, also, if you invited a friend to tonight's show, like, show up show us a wave or send us a message or something or you know just something so you can get entered into the um jenny would like to know how uh they burn in the cauldron do they burn evenly do they burn all the way down they do burn all the way down in the cauldron the cauldron is a three wick candle mm -hmm. um they burn fairly evenly uh, if your petals don't get burned through the process when you get to the very bottom i would stop it 
from burning anymore because they will catch fire at some point. They will. Um, and then you just end up with a big smoky mess. So yes. let's let's avoid that. The ones with the smaller stuff in them are usually not a problem. Um, but if you brought a friend or you invited someone, you can win the agate candle that we have uh, supplied today. And this is your favorite scent, that uh, berry. Mulberry. Mulberry. She, I love she, mulberry. She loves the mulberry, but you know, tried to make the candle to match the slice. And that is yours. If you brought somebody, we're going to do a drawing and let us know. So we appreciate all of you. And I just want you to know that, that we are very grateful that you are all here with us. And if you have any questions about how to use any of this stuff, feel free to ask. Send a personal message. I, I will walk you through candles and whatever else I can. Melissa will help you out. It's just, we're, we're here for you and, and we appreciate you being here for us because we're all in this together. Unless you listen to some people, then it's not about you. Um, all right, so we got some new stuff in, which we haven't shown before. I'm very excited about. Um, Making of the piles. <laughs> I'm going through piles now. So this is off the spring thing. We'll come back to spring in a minute. I'm just really excited about these. We got these wicked cool wallets and we have it in this pattern. And we have it in this pattern. And what else do we have this, the, the wallets patterned in? Um, I think there's some cats. There's a version of this that actually glows in the dark. Oh, sweet. Um, lots of pockets. This is more of a, a clutch. Purse. Yeah. Uh, does it come with a strap? Yeah, it's actually um, folded up inside the strap for it. And, and the wallet has so many card slots. I love this wallet. Plus, you know, your zipper portion for your change and the rest of your cards because you know you have too many to fit in these slots. Um, but it's got the wolf on the back, which is very cool and different and a little different from the wolf on the front. It's just so, so sweet. And then mm -hmm. the, uh, the little clutch over the shoulder bag, book of spells. It's got a little spell saying on the back, which is really cute. Um, you can actually hold quite a bit in this. I mean, I would have no problem fitting in my makeup and my stones and my wallet. And I carry a big wallet. Um, <laughs> so you should have no problem getting any of that stuff in here. It is very sizable. The, the Book of Spells bag is 40. The wallets are 35. You can get the matching wallet for the bag if you're interested. Um, but I just thought those were so cool. And then we got another over the shoulder bag here, which is so cute. You're, um, again, we're back on the fairies because it's spring. Mm -hmm. So this bag also has the shoulder strap. Um, it's a cross body bag. Nice empty, nice empty space would hold a lot of things. You have a zipper compartment on the inside and one on the outside because I like to keep my phone on the outside. Um, so that's very important to me, but very, very cute bag, vinyl, not getting it dirty very easily. The back is like a duck, duck cloth, uh, canvasy kind of material. You might want to wax it or it'll last longer. Um, and this is just really cute. I never saw this before today. So I was kind of excited when I came in and this was here. And, uh, how much is this? Um, oh, got phone without the tag. <laughs> I think they're like 20, 25 hmm? on the table in the front window. Yeah. Um, oh, and yep. I'm still Jill, wearing my flags. You are. You are holding on to that dare. I'm that, on that to dare. Flags. All right, Jill, you. we'll put the book of shadows aside for you. Um, so we had somebody asking about what moon phase we had. Main moon phase art. Um, we have this fresco plaque um, made by local artist Nadine. That is 25. It's actually a plaster. Um, then we also have Joan, one of our readers. Her mom makes these mats for us. So these actually came in. I haven't even put price tags on them yet. That's how new they are. Um, a few different prints available. Um, and this one, if you can see, there's like little bitty moons and stars. Uh, but these are 20 each. 
And I think there's at least two of each type of pattern, except for that yellow one, or that yellow one. one. Yeah, or this blue one. And this one's this really is cool. Everybody's favorite. Give me the blue one. Yeah. See the zodiacs going on. This, um, it's awesome. <laughs> I just love that one. <clears throat> We're actually uh, located in North Olmstead, Isabel, um, right near the intersection of Stearns and Lorraine. Um, How many? Yeah, uh, and the ferry bag is twenty. Yay, I remembered right. And the tarot mats are 20. So, yay. And they are handmade and they are beautiful. They're really thick. They're nice and quilted. And double sided. So, the, the background is the um, reverse. The reverse. And you can actually, the way it was sewn through, that there's the shadowing of the moon phase on the back as well. But I would never turn it over. <laughs> it's gorgeous. They're gorgeous. <laughs> All handmade with intention. We love mm -hmm. those. Yes. Those so, are our personal fave. We mm -hmm. were waiting for those to come in, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't yeah. had them for a while. Yeah, they sold really quick the first time, and we had to wait for um, Joan's mom yeah. to, to make more for us. And she um, got on it. Another another instance of uh, <clears throat> helping support local. Yay. Yay. We local like crafters. Local. Oh, okay. So we also have some, some little jars of things you don't normally find. We have little jars of crossroads dirt. So if you are facing Swirly. some decisions and you need to uh, add some dirt from a crossroads so you can figure out which way to go, we have that for you. And then we have a uh, protect protection power, which is from a sweet gum tree. Powder, not powder. Protection powder, I can talk. Um, it's from sweet gum, gum trees and it comes in these cute little jars, it's great. Sprinkle it across your doorways and the four corners of your house, uh, wherever you feel you need protection. And these are $2.50 a piece. And they're adorable, but look so cute on your little apothecary shelves. I know you have one. Um, There's also the witch bowls. Oh, the witch bowls. Oh, and speaking of sweet gum, we have witch balls. I have a bag of balls. I've been, <laughs> I've been saying this for like a week now. Balls. I've got a bag of balls. I prefer my balls in a jar, but she put them in a bag. We need the ACDC song playing. <laughs> yes, we do. Except <laughs> YouTube would nab us again on that one. Yeah, they would. They yell at so us. I'm going to take one out and show it to you. These are also for protection. They have been dipped in uh, black wax by the lovely Miss T, who you just met a few minutes ago. And... Um, because they are prickly, they're supposed to... They're protective. They're protective. Hang above your door, over your window sills, um, rear view mirror of your car. Um, some people suggest them making keychains. I don't think they would last very long as a keychain. Probably not. Um, but the wax on it kind of helps um, strengthen them to where they'll hang you know, pretty well. Right. Um, hold on for a while. I was very worried about putting them in the bag at first that they would break, but oh no, they're not breaking. They're they're sturdy. So we they'll know from dipping them and then trying to grind them down that uh, they're not breaking easily. Uh, that's some pretty sturdy stuff. And how much are those? Four dollars, I think. Yeah, four dollars a bag. Four dollars a bag for a bag of balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A bag of balls. I can't help myself. <laughs> Um, so Kathy is asking about the mats that we just did real quick. Um, okay. The purple one that we have. Um, Hi, Glitter. I am Sylvia. We have the purple one that has the little stars on it. Um, the only one that's kind of swirly. Um, whoops, I think maybe this one would be swirly. It's more of oh, wait, a um, that's not it. sepia, maybe. Um, oh, wait, maybe Kathy or... Uh, Nikki is looking for cue the weight music. <laughs> right, right. Um, we'll talk about the little agate slices because somebody just asked if we had agate slices, and we do. <clears throat> we have um, we have these here that are actually engraved onto the agate. The pentacles. Pentacles are very protective as well. Um, it's not going to rub off or come off. It's actually engraved onto the surface. These are $12 each. And you could actually make a little mini altar uh, piece with this. You could put little stones on there, little mini uh, birthday candles for a little um, working spell place. Um, we have some bigger ones um, as well. 
I like this one's kind of pretty because it has that open uh, druzy spot on the back. These ones are 12 as well. Why are the big ones 12 the same price as the small ones? Because these ones are not um, in that perfect round circle piece. So we do have those ones. Um, and we have this one, this one's 18 because it took longer to engrave. And again, these are engraved onto the surface. It's not going to rub off. It's not going to uh, wash away on you. So um, we do have some of these. And again, this big one's 18. Jill wants the yellow mat. Uh, yep, okay. You, Jilly. Here, uh, Jill's pile is um, this one here, these two pieces. Okay, back to those. We have this kind of speckly one, which is not swirly, but we have this one, which I love, 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 love. Um, and if that is not swirly enough for you, I have this one here. Oh, maybe that's the one she was talking about. Which absolutely has swirls. And there you go, Kathy. And is very springy, or back to spring again. And totally cute. It's totes adorbs and $20. Pretty sure that's the one Kathy wants. All right. Kathy, so we're we going to make you. a Kathy pile. Okay. Because um, I don't think I have Kathy yet. Boop, da, da, boom. All right. <clears throat> so back to spring, I think. Oh, we have this oh, adorable ceramic wand. It's got this cool quartz point on it, and it's wrapped in leather. It is ceramic with ceramic leaves, and <clears throat> it's a little bit. Oop, different than the wands we usually have on here. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what would you do with this, this cute well, little ceramic. ceramic wand? Ceramic is actually um, resonates with all of the elements, all four elements, because um, you need fire for the heating and the firing. Mm -hmm. You need the clay of the earth. You need the water mm -hmm. to mix and you need the air to help let it dry and to um, form it. So you actually get all properties of all four elements in with the ceramic. Um, quartz is a magnifier. So any of your intentions that you're directing through the wand, the course is going to help magnify, help give you that boost. It's got that nice tip on the end to help direct your energy. So anything with it being kind of a springish uh, themed wand, things that you are trying to grow, to establish, to bring a new, um, things that you spring, that you birth, be it new ideas. It doesn't have to be children. A lot of people get scared, like no, no babies. Um, new ideas if you're a um, artist a creator an author and you're trying to work on new ideas you know that's something that you can um you know use in your working to create new ideas yes i need new ideas i don't that didn't work yet but you know i'm not really paying attention either so um <laughs> <laughs> this is priced at 28 dollars. it is it, it's a nice weight. It's not too heavy. It won't get uncomfortable in your hand. Uh, we got these cute leaves on here. And that is ready to go home with you today. It's the Wooby approved wand. It's the approved wand. Uh, if you don't know, Wooby is, is my dog. And um, he picked this one. So <laughs> we made two. He didn't like the other one. So we only decided to sell this one. Because <laughs> we'll be said maybe no. we'll be like the other one, and he wanted to keep that one. No, he didn't want anything to do with the other one. Oh, <laughs> I thought maybe he was trying to keep the one he liked. No, get this no, one no. out of the house. <laughs> All right, back to swing, spring. Ocarinas, you know you want it. You could be playing spring. Pretend right, your pan. Pretend your pan. Bring spring into being. Start your own little band. You play the ocarina. I'll play the one. The. <laughs> The rain stick. Apparently, I don't know how to play an ocarina. Well, you don't want to. There's too many holes. Yeah, I don't know. But the ocarinas are only five dollars, and it is a fun little thing. You could let your kids start a band um, between that and the rain stick. Rain stick is ten. The rain stick is ten. We got a cute little band thing going here, and and they even kind of match. It's just adorable. So if you're interested in the rain stick, hi, Carol, or in the ocarina, 10, 5, 10, 5, adorable. I just thought right. that'd be something new. Um, <laughs> Yay. And, oh, let's do a book. Here, you do a book. I'm doing blind bramble. If you are getting into your herb magic, 
This is the new handbook that kind of came out. And Not kind of, it is. is right now. It's Herb Magic Season. Um, how to use them, how to store them, how to select them, even the astrological associations. If you take your Herb Magic that seriously or that in depth. Um, so this is a good starting point. Um, pretty easy to read, very in depth um, and precise for you. Um, so again, this is a new one. Oh, and actually, like it, it'll say like your herbs, <laughs> herbs <Yerbs>. of Uranus, <laughs> and I barely drink anything. Or herbs. Um, so you can match your planetary energies in with your herbs, or if you're trying to learn that, this book is the way to go. It's 1895. Only been out maybe about a week. Well, no, not a week. This coronavirus has everything. Yeah, it's been out about a month now. Maybe a month. Um, maybe I had it a week before they said, don't leave your house. So yeah, no, um, so there's two of these available if you need one. Uh, we can get that shipped to you. If you're local, we'll get it, we'll get it to you. Um, we've been doing some porch drops off for you. But again, the uh, Herbal Alchemist Handbook, 1895. All right, I'm going to move on to this book, which ties in with T's Candles, The Wisdom of Anxiety, because I know I have it. I've heard several of my friends talk about how anxious they are. We've been sitting around with nothing to do but worry about the fact that, you know, we don't have money and we don't know when everything's going to open and I can't go to Ulta. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and this book is to help you learn how to harness the wisdom of the anxiety. And the messages uh, came within, okay. uh, contained within. I can't talk. Wait, she wanted the other one, right? <laughs> and how to use that anxiety <laughs> to expand your life as opposed to letting it cripple you. So a uh, very good book. I only read half of it so far, but so far I'm really, really digging it. Alanis Morissette uh, actually wrote one of the, the little blurbs on the back here. So she liked it. But uh, I know it's something that we all deal with or our kids deal with. Um, and, and I felt like it was kind of an important thing. So if you're interested in that, um, it is on that front table by the door is another one of these books that we need it for, um, herb book, for, um, book. anxiety book. book for, um, Carolyn. Right and then if you're just sitting around the house board, we have the witch's coloring book, which is so fun. You break out those pencils, the pages come out, you can hang them or give them to friends or just they're easier to color when they're out i think and there's all kinds of great pictures in here i don't think so it's really there's like a little bee and a flower they're just really really great pictures um cats we love cats um, i'm too high for facebook but um, yeah, there's just some, some all, I don't know what that is. That looks terrifying on screen. Oh no, it's just a woman with flowers. See, I'm <laughs> <laughs> that looks terrifying on the screen. <laughs> From here, I can't tell. But uh, this is Llewellyn's Witches Coloring Book. It is $12.99, which is a great price, I think, actually, for a coloring book this size and of this quality. Um, so $12.99, Witches Coloring Book. We can get that to you. Mm -hmm. And you will have something to do. All right, Carolyn from uh, Facebook, um, please send us a direct message with your email so we can invoice you. Uh, we did set aside one of the herbal handbooks for you. All right, so back to herbs. We have tea because it's tea time. Pinky out. Pinky out. So we have um, Gemini tea, which I thought was appropriate because we're coming into Gemini's right now. May, June. Mm. June. Well, my mom's May, end of May, May twenty eighth, and she's a Gemini. I'm up. Okay. Why am I drawing a blank? Out of my. This is all of our tea. <laughs> so Gemini tea for those in your life with a split personality. <laughs> a split personality. <laughs> and then we have the summer orange tea, which I know we're just barely breaking into spring, but you know we can hope. May twenty first through June twenty. May 21st through June 20th is Gemini. So there you go. Um, and the summer orange tea, which is delicious. I love this tea. This is one of my favorites. And the teas are $10 a bag. They are hand blended and very yummy. 
And if you'd like, you can drink it out of this adorable little teacup with their cute plate. And then when you drink, done drinking your tea, we have this cute little skull inside that makes you think you've been poisoned. And these little teacup sets are only $6. Each one has a fun little saying on the inside. Yeah, each one has something fun. One says you are dead. One says poisoned with the question yeah. mark, which makes you wonder, was I poisoned? But um, I yeah. okay powder or not? <laughs> <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> but $6 for the set, $10 for the tea. And those. Oh, here's those? another one. Yeah, here's the poison with the question mark. Have you been poisoned? Do you know? Right. Was that Iocane powder or was it not? Well, the last five years building up the resistance to Iocane powder. <laughs> <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to have to go home and watch that movie. <laughs> I own it. So no problem. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when you start um, collecting your herbs, because again, it's, it's Tis herb the season. season. Tis the season. With these cute little bottles, which I think, think are adorable. One says love potions, instantaneous cures for all afflictions. This one says toad stool, toad, toad stew, toad stew, not stool. That's different. <laughs> it's a totally different jar and you don't want it by your herbs. Um, and the little heart jar is $6. The big toad stew jar is only $8. Say that again. Toad <laughs> stew. <laughs> And they are totally adorable. <laughs> <laughs> they both come with corks. This one's got a glittery kind of cork, which um, automatically makes me say no because I, I don't do glitter. But this Not one's this house. Got, it's got a cute, cute <laughs> just regular cork and just a cute little toad on there. I love this little bottle. You don't find these very often. So <clears throat> that's it. For, oh, wait. No, I got herbs in front of me. So you do. spring sage Ooh. with the rose petals. These are $5 and they come in colors and they're so pretty with red roses and purple roses and yellow roses. Sandra wrapped wants around the, the sage. Do. And um, so when you're smudging, you can infuse a little spring into your smudge. Just kind of, you know, do your normal thing, but, you know, bring a little, a little love peace and happiness. And if you don't get rid of what you're smudging for, maybe you'll just make it nicer with the rose petals. Sometimes they just become more amicable. I don't know. Depends on what's in there. But these are only $5. And so if you're interested in one of those, hit us up, let us know. We'll get it out to you. Cheap to mail. No problem. All right. Yep. Those are yours. And we got the toad stool, stew, toad stew, toad set aside stew. for Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. So I don't have to say that anymore because that was getting like tricky. <laughs> Gemstone trees. See, we're growing spring. This one's like almost kind of Eastery. I think this one's so cute. It's got um, the tiny little one. It, this one's only $10. And it's got all these colorful little stones on there. And I think it's just adorable. It would look so cute on your desk at work when you go back. And then we have some bigger ones. This is the giant one. This one is $30. He is black tourmaline, which is a protection. Um, so if you have negative, negative people around you, again, I take it to work, let it absorb all the negativity. Um, this is a pretty chunky tree. The base is quartz and uh, it's kind of a uh, Janet Phillips will take the purple smudge. It's kind of a druzy with some small points, which I'm sure you can't see on the camera. But Janet this is a Phillips, great, 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 great tree right here. I really love this one. And he is $30. And then we have this stunning, 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 made with love amethyst based amethyst top tree. This one was handmade. Um, and is good for balancing the crown chakra. Uh, it helps with the curing of nightmares and insomnia and with physical ailments of the nervous system. And they are beautiful little examples of, it's more delicate than the ones you get from yeah, those, manufacturers. Yeah, the, that lady lives locally. Um, she's made a few others, but um, it, it is gorgeous. And uh, this one is also $30, but again, handmade, hand wrapped, 
um, hand-picked stones. It's really, really pretty. And the, it, the base is all amethyst points. You can see them. It's just a, a whole cluster of points. It's so pretty. So if you're interested in a tree, let us know. There are others, too. There are others. We have them in several colors. So if you'd like a tree of a different kind. Right. Um, what else follow do we the have? yellow brick road and we'll, we'll get you one. Oh, there's another tree. Speaking of trees, um, this right here has the uh, the three goddesses. Well, goddess in all of her phases here for you. Maiden, mother, crone. Can everybody see it? I'm trying to hit two cameras at once. There you go. Nikki's got the, the spot. She is the Vanna White. I know the spot. That's right. <laughs> um, so you you get the representation of Maiden Mother Crone and each one down on her um, robe, you'll see the moon phase that correlates to that. Um, Mimi would like an anxiety cauldron and the white and tan pentacle agate and one of the tarot mats. Mimi, which tarot mat would you like, dear? We had a few different um, or color. I would get the Zodiac one because there's only one of those. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll all have um, tarot mat anxiety or uh, envy. Envy. That's it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was going to have an energy drink today and I probably should have. Right. Um, right. <laughs> this is a, a heavy little thing. Mimi. Mimi. Yep. And Mimi sent us a DM. Or mimic. Mimic. See, it's either Mimi C. Lloyd or Mimic Floyd. Lyoud. Yeah, we'll show that. We'll show yeah, them. We'll again. show them again at the end for you. Um, so back to the tree. This this is thirty six dollars. Very cute. Um, it's got some apples on the front here with the you know mother the mother crone or the mother witch, and you, just to show you. The detail that went into making it so it's kind of kind of cool oh the boxes there's so many boxes guys oh <laughs> melissa's been making boxes yeah so if you need a new little box either for tarot or just cute little things we have these little boxes um no latch needed they're self-closing um so we have this little guy um with a little black cat he's 12. This one's 15 with the uh, sugar skull on both sides. A little bit bigger. The detail on that is great. Yeah, and will hold um, your standard size tarot deck. Um, then we have bigger ones. This size is 20 and actually has engraving all the way around. So um, yeah, there's quite a few. My son- um, Yet another size. Right, but wait, there's more. This one, um, a little bit wider to put your tarot deck, maybe some of your crystals in with it. Or if you have a tarot and an oracle deck, they would both fit in there. Mm -hmm. Oversized decks will fit. There's a um, of them. <laughs> another uh, for your oversized uh, deck. Um, this one's 20 as well. Nikate's wheel, another one that's 20. Um, here's my little favorite. Because it's got bats. I had to make bats. So I almost kept it for me. Um, will fit like your little Lenormand decks, your Kipper decks. These cute little guys here. This one's 12. Um, oh, that one is pretty. I didn't see that. Got, I call it the tribal moon. Uh, moon on both sides. This one's 15. Do they all have different Yeah, there's, there's literally like a different design on all of them. We'll get a picture of these up on um, Facebook afterwards. Yeah. So you can see all the different styles. I was going to do a picture this that morning, was... but um, it was so dark and gloomy outside um, that I couldn't really get a good picture. Uh, for all of our Potter fans, we have uh, Potter on the front. We have the lightning bolt, which is, there we go, on both sides, and he's on the back. Um, oh, I love that one. We have a, a pretty intensive one. This one, um, 15 on both sides. Almost kept this one too. Jack Skellington <laughs> with spider webbing, but he's on all four sides. And our last two. Um, That's very the hearts. Um, and this is actually like in, like recessed in for you. So if you wanted to, you could like glue a stone or something in there. And this one, uh, angel wings. 
That was so, very pretty. Uh, it could be cute little gift boxes if you're giving a little gift to somebody. Janelle's asking um, if they're wood. They are wood. They are wood. Um, and um, yeah, every bit of this is wood, including the hinge part. Just the way that it's been cut makes it flexible. Uh, finger grooving. So um, there's not even glue on these guys, but to snap them together, as you can see, you know, they bit me um, <laughs> because they do fit that tight, but they, they are very sturdy, but they're out of wood. Um, so it's a natural holding container for anything that you might want to use your, your decks, um, cute little gift box for something. Um, and depending, um, you know, Ooh. if I can get the artwork, can. I can do um, engraving those too. Okay, so this this is one. Where also, our um, our, I actually enjoy this spring one. We have the nice spring setting, but you know the skeleton makes it a little creepy, which I love. And this is by Memento Mori Studios. Live your legacy. He is very cute. I just love him. He is seventy dollars. Um, he is handmade. He is just gorgeous. So if you're looking for a little uh, namaste skeleton uh, with some springy flowers for your altar, then we have the one with the wolf. Oh, and we have a wolf. Same studio. The moon with the wolf. Memento mori means remember that you will die. So that's a morbid thought to leave the show well, on. It's that's not to, to, to enjoy each day because, you know, you never know if it's your last day. That's true. I'm hoping it's not. <laughs> but she's a local artist. Um, so again, we love supporting local. And they're just so cute. Look how cute he is. I just love it. <laughs> oh, the selenite. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's another selenite uh, or another moon phase. If we can get it to show up on the camera. No, I'll work on it. Um, big selenite chunk. Um, with moon phases engraved on it. So you can use that block, um, set your stones on it. You can set your jewelry on it. Um, it will cleanse it. Um, selenite never needs cleansing because it is self-cleansing. So you could actually even like slide that under your bed, under your work chair, in your desk, um, just to help keep you cleansed. It'll cleanse your aura, cleanse you. Um, and you got your moon phases to help um, honor those energies, work with it. And this intuition. Big, this is a big chunk. $25. Oh. That is cheap. Yep, that's a pretty good price. Big chunk of selenite for $25. Engraved, it won't come off. Engraved, yes, it's not going anywhere. How much time do we have left? Well, we got a few minutes. Yeah, yeah let's go over the kits. I'm running out of space. Oh, so we have <laughs> these adorable kits. I have nowhere to put stuff. <laughs> um, that's like our, our fun kit. A this bit is, of yeah, this is our fun kit. We put these together. Um, you get a little little tea light. This is the Archangel Uriel. Um, there's like a little ohm coin in there. Our mother's crystals. Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming. Some all-purpose oil, uh, a pendulum. There's a, a stone in here, some kind of quartz. It could be a smoky quartz. Um, and a little bag to put your stuff in. So just kind of if you're you know, uh, Tina wants the moon playing slap. around the house Tina and you're looking cipher. for some stuff to do or you want to try something new that you don't normally do. These are this one's only twenty dollars and it is just it's just a fun little kit. It also makes a great gift. And then we have a more specific kit. kit. This is um, for protection. So you have your tea light with. Um, with uh, black tourmaline, black tourmaline, you would think I would remember that. Peppercorns and salt to you know ward away and circle. Uh, we have some selenite in here. There's some clear quartz in here and protection oil. And there's also some more black tourmaline in there. It's a nice, nice little protection kit. Also twenty dollars comes in this cute tin. Everything contains back in. Um, do we have dragon blood's incense? Yes, we do. Do you want sticks, cones, or backflow cones, or powder? Let us know. Dragon blood incense. So the kit's twenty dollars. Let us know if you're interested in my lips. All right, and then we have 
what else we have? Oh, we have a crystal grid. And crystal grids are, well, you can arrange your crystals to do different things. And along, if, you, if you're not familiar with crystal grids, and I'm not, I'm just going to be honest, I don't really do these things. Um, we have the introduction to crystal grids. That's just like perfect. The book is $14.99. The grid, this grid is $12. We have them in smaller sizes, and I believe we even have them in bigger sizes. So uh, you can do crystal grids for healing, for manifestation, for cleansing. There's all kinds of uh, things you can do a crystal grid for. And this book will tell you what crystals and where to put them. So it's pretty sweet. All right. If you're looking for a new new phase of uh, new um, phase of things to get into, something different. Um, so Kathy, let's add that to her pile. And the Kira Let us Lynn. know if you're interested in That's doing some crystal one. grids, and we will get you set up. Awesome. All right. What's next? I got a couple more books. This one I thought was fun. Good juju. Who doesn't eat good juju? Somebody who was asking about dragon's blood. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, I have the resin some more too. They messaged in on uh, on Instagram. So um, we do have the dragon's blood powder. We have the powder, and I we have jars of the liquid resin as well. And those jars are twelve. The powdered incense is three. And then I'm sure you have it in sticks. Yes. Yes. Um, I can't find them. I'll find them. Okay. <laughs> Nasha Lightfoot um, wrote this book, and it is spiritual rites, spell work, and folk practices to enhance your well being and personal power. So, uh, good juju. I, I have friends who are always like, can you make me a candle for good juju? And um, they all have different situations. So, I try and fix that for them. But um, this is just several several approaches to it and i think it's a great book she's a great author i've actually heard her speak i like her a lot um she's very down to earth very practical if you're interested in this it is 16.99 and um and we only have like three copies of this so let us know if you'd like one of those um, and then this is a new book to me, which I'm thinking about is The Wild Magical Soul, Learn to Dance with the Rhythms of Nature. Um, I guess it's kind of about how um, letting go and um, and crafting a world around your yourself without boundaries. Um, we all live kind of constricted and confined and, and this is how to how to open up and transform yourself uh, and then helping you there. learn ancient knowledge so you can pass it on to other generations. So this is a, an interesting book that I'm going to be reading soon. I'm adding it to my list. And this one is $17.99. So if you're interested in becoming a wild, magical soul, you really need to check this out. Cool. Cool. What do you got? So for those that asked about dragon's blood, uh, this is actually liquid with um, little bits of the resin in it. So this is the kind that you would add to your lotions, your creams, or if you wanted to write your magical intentions in with it, you can. Um, this bottle is 12. We also have uh, Dragon's Blood Psoriasis Cream because Dragon's Blood is great for skin conditions, psoriasis, dry skin, eczema. So if you have um, psoriasis, the Dragon's Blood in this will help you with that. Um, for incense, we have uh, Dragon's Blood here. I really like this company. It burns really well. You don't get the black smut stuff that comes off of um, that brand that's in the jars. And then this is the actual Dragon's Blood resin with, uh, what is that, Palo Santo. Great. So uh, these, this pack is five. Burns a little longer and harder because it's very chunky. Um, and then this pack is to 25 and there's 20 sticks. Oh, Lachelle, Jerome, Petals from a Black Rose, they Hi, joined us. Hi, um, We were supposed to have some hand sanitizer. Speaking of, I'm going to call her out. Ha. Um, 
Else. What else do we have? Oh, you know what? We need to go over the, the tarot cloths for. Um... Oh, real quick, Mother's Day is coming. We're coming into May. Mom knitting bowls. How cute is that? We have them in purple, blue, and pink. It's a pale blue and pink. These are $15. Uh, let us know if you're interested, if your okay. mom would like one. All right. So um, here, um, here we go. So here is one of the uh, patterns. Whoops. Slightly uh, similar coloring. So we have this one. We have do to do, do this one. The purple and the moon on that one's almost like a pearlescent. There we go. And these are all um, 20. And then here's the one that we said to grab because there's only one. It has the zodiac uh, signs and um, even on the back as well. There's only one of that one. We're down to one of the swirly purple. Um, and again, you know, same patterning on the back. We have uh, green, very spring, um, vibrant green. Did we do this one? Yes, I, I think we did. And then we have uh, this one here, black with the little gold stars. Um, so that is all of the triple moon tarot cloths that we have right now uh, for me. Um, so any last minute questions or um, if you want to let us know which tarot cloth, uh, cloth, cloth, cloth. <laughs> that you would like. Um, Jill, yes, Jill, we will get you the chunky uh, dragon's blood um, incense for you. Um, That's a really nice one, Jill. I like that one a lot. All right, so guys, please make sure you DM us your uh, contact info, email to send uh, invoices over. If I don't get them out to you later tonight, I'll first thing in the morning, since there's a lot of piles and I have to make sure I hit them all. Um, and I'm still wearing the these. tannish colored one. She wants it to the tan one. Just, to, just um, this was a dare and I did it. So there you have it. Um, probably that one. Yep. Instagram just shut yep. us off again. I love them for that. That's always so awesome. Are they so the, the Mimi shared a story, and I wonder. They always say I can go so again. We will hopefully see you all next week with yet some other new stuff. Uh, the Dragon's Blood Cream. Now that I have an apprentice candle maker, we are coming up with some new new ideas, which will be awesome. The Dragon's Blood Cream is fourteen, and it is four ounces sweet but um yeah we'll be here next thursday if you have ideas for our theme for next week hit us up let us know um i will try and come up with something to put a survey out but if you have ideas that's even better because then i don't have to work so hard and uh we have lots <clears> of stuff <throat> for you for next week because we only covered about three quarters of the table so there's that if there is anything you didn't see here that you're interested in please just send us a message we probably have it or we can tell you where to get it so there's um there's uh melissa playing with instagram still we love you all thank you again for coming <laughs> we really appreciate it my beautiful book of faces people and um we look forward to seeing you again soon i hope and stay safe, Thursday, stay healthy, Thursday, 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 seven o'clock. Again, if you invited a friend, make a comment in the chat and I will get you entered in. Actually, you know what? Let's just enter everybody who came today. Well, and you're all in for the, the agate candle contest and we'll announce the winner next week and get it shipped out to you. So that'll be great fun. And we love you. Peace. All Melissa. Right. All right, guys, have a good night.